Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a maxi dress. I got this really cool fabric from Fabric Styles. I'll leave a link in the description. So I'm going to start with the front of the dress. I'm going to fold over the fabric and I'm using a stretchy dress to get the pattern. So I'm starting first by just tracing around the neckline and the armhole. I'm using a clover chalk pen but you can use chalk or any fabric pens now that i've got the outline of the dress i'm just gonna determine how long i want it and just mark in the side seams now i'm going to cut the front panel out i'm using a rotary cutter because it gives me a little bit more precision but obviously you can just use a pair of scissors now I'm going to place the front of the dress that I've just cut out on the other piece of fabric and I'm going to pin it down now I'm going to take my stretchy dress and place it on the fabric and then trace the back armhole now I'm going to cut around the whole dress then fold it in half and make sure it's symmetrical Now I'm going to shape the front neckline so the front and back ain't the same. Now I'm going to make the sleeve pattern. For the sleeve pattern you're going to need a piece of paper, fold it in half, then trace over one side of the armhole, then trace over the other side of the armhole. A good way of checking that the sleeve will fit is by measuring the armhole. Remember to mark your pattern so you know which one's the front and the back, but an easy way of knowing is that the back has a more arched sort of shape and the front is more sort of down. Now I'm pinning my armhole piece and I'm going to measure up to how long I want it and then just draw in pattern shape remembering to add the seam allowance now I'm cutting some bias binding for the neck first I will start by sewing your shoulder points I'm not sewing them I'm actually using an overlocker but you can use a zigzag stitch as well Now I'm going to show you how to put in a stretch sleeve. I find this way much more easier than setting in a sleeve the traditional way. Match the shoulder points, pin them, then pin the other two points and you can easily just distribute the pins.
And now you're going to overlock all the way around. And here it is. As you can see, it's really taking shape. Now pin the armhole pieces together. And then pin the rest of the dress and overlock. Now I'm going to measure the neckline and fold over some of the same fabric and add the bias binding. I'm also going to finish the end of the arms as well. Or you can also just fold them over. This bit is just additional. Now I'm going to pin it and overlock. And hey, presto, we are done. Thanks for watching, guys.